welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Mirror Karma, our last meme tier Monday deck today. This one's going to be just like the first deck that we played, well, similar, but instead of going Zoe, Aphelios, Targon, we are going Ionia because we're playing a really cool combo at the top end. We have Karma and we have Mirror Mage, so that's our Mirror Karma. Okay, so you know about Karma. Karma, whenever it's leveled up, you know, doubles all of your spells. It's pretty crazy, right? But now we're going to combine that with Mirror Mage. Mirror Mage says when you create, when you play a created follower, you double it, make two of them, and a created spell, double it, cast two of them. So therefore, if we have Mirror Mage and a leveled up Karma in play at the same time, we are going to be casting, like we cast a created card, we cast it an additional two times. So we kind of just make Mirror Mage as like a, you know, another leveled up karma, basically. So we're combining those two together. So we started there, built the deck from there, um, from Ionia and Vandal City, and, you know, kind of ended up with this. For the other champion, we got Heimerdinger, because Heimerdinger does count as Vandal City, so that's pretty nice. So all of our um, spells will be able to make some turrets. The turrets, of course, will be doubled with Mirror Mage, so that's pretty cool, because they're going to be created units. And then we're going with a whole lot of pranks, We'll have a couple of these, two of these Benemones, and I, I don't know if that's the correct way to pronounce it, <laughs> hopefully. Anyway, three Otterpus, three Trinket Trade to make some Otterpus, because then once we get these pranks, that's kind of what we're going to do here, is get pranks, and then like double up all these pranks, and basically make it so like all their cards cost like a million mana, so then they can't cast anything. <laughs> that's, that's what we're going to do. Karma Pranks with Mirror Mage. Let's go. This looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so here we go. Well, let's go play five games in ranked. We're not actually in ranked. It's meme tier. Sorry. Five games in normal. We got Fizz Nami. Well, we don't really need Karma and Mirror Mage together in the opener. We'll get them later. We don't need them right away. All right, good looking hand. Get a modder puss. And I could wait on the prank for Heimer, but. Ooh. Minus two health on the ballistic bot or minus one power and vulnerable. Let's go minus two health. Little one one ballistic bot. Oh, they got a new Ballistic Bot that's even better. Sounds like that Ballistic Bot needs to be silenced. Can you improve perfection? Okay, we got Karma, aka Mirror Mage. Leveled up Karma. Embrace the current or be swept away. Not me. I guess I'm passing. I don't know, I could play like this thing, this Trinket Trade, and see what's up. But I pass, I keep the two spell mana. We can do this thing, now we got some pranks. Nami's at three. No. No. Yes, recall. So the thing about recall here is that should mean yes. Yeah, so that means that both of their mystic shots fizzle so they don't get like the plus one plus zeros with the Nami. Four. I didn't even really look at my other options besides the recall. I just kind of took that. I do have another Heimer in play, like in hand anyway. Like maybe that recall wasn't actually like that great of a card to take. I mean, we know like all their cards. Mm. 
I want to play Karma this round and start creating uh, spells for free. Shadows of the past, that's not any good. Okay, what do we got? <laughs> this Nami growing these elusives. Could get us. Alright, at least we're back to 16. But so many spray fins. And iterative improvements. Man, we are the worst at Karma. <laughs> We're so bad with karma. Yeah, we just got all these living shadows that don't matter. So we can assume this thing's going to challenge karma. Go ahead and just shadow shift and then replay karma. So we have to spend eight mana to keep our karma alive, basically. Alright, karma, you gotta be better. You gotta give us some spells that do something. Well, alright, that does something. That's better. That also does something. So many elusives. Looks like Nami elusives has us. Unless we pull off a miracle. Why are you here? We live here. No, go back. Block everything like you were just doing. I would have loved those blocks. Man, the opponent got my hopes up. They got my hopes up. But I guess elusives are our doom, like a lot of other people. No, nope. I meant to click the Otterpus. So I was getting cards out of my hand. There we go. For this inside of ages. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. There are yeah, there's ways to basically silence enemies and that's that's the way to to remove uh, elusive from the enemy. Um there's not one for like all enemies. There's not a way to like remove elusive from all enemies, but there is that for some of them. I mean, what, am, what am I doing here? All right, 0 and one, elusive GG. We have learned as much as we have suffered. Vagar Nasus. That sounds pretty nasty. We're gonna set it all back. Start over. Love having the loping telescope. The two drops are like the cards that you really want to see in your opener when you're playing this deck. You want um, Kronk... no. Conchologist? It's just such a weird word. Conchologist and then Loping Telescope. And those, are, those are like the best cards to have in the opener. Of course, Otterpus as well. I 
could see taking Justice Rider for this match up, but... Or the Messenger. You know, it's one of these two. I guess just the Messenger. But I don't know. I could see that Justice Rider. You know, three, four bodies, pretty big. They're gonna draw a lot of spells. It keeps them... Like, it forces them to use a removal spell on it. I don't know. I could see taking that card. Arda's gonna make a meal of them! That's a good trade. I like it. This card is amazing, this loping telescope. So right now they have six cards in hand and I have eight cards. And we have a 2-1 in play. So we're doing really good. However, they have this card called Viego. And that makes our life a lot worse. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. I will find her. Wait, I could have blocked with Karma. Maybe I should have. Meditation? We have so many cards. Uh, can we get an ephemeral? I don't think we can. So I guess I'll take Nopify. We stand in the footprints of past long time. All right, so they have a Merciless Hunter in hand. Bandle City has so much card advantage. Like, look at just all these cards we have. It's it's insane. Like, everything creates another thing. Me and die. I don't want to do either. It's not easy to play these Bandle City decks, though, because you have like, just so many crazy cards all the time and everything. It's just, it's not easy to figure out exactly what lines to, to take. The dragon will keep you safe. Huh. I guess that's a card that I should have been thinking about, I suppose. Yeah, I wish I would have recalled Viego now. I, w I didn't really want to recall Viego because then I do. Then we Blade Dance 1 and then they get to block and, you know, grow the Nasses from Slay. You know, I didn't really like that. But I just wasted a whole bunch of plus zero, plus threes and mana on this Karma. What spell shield? What? What's? How do we get spell shield? Was there something I could do for a spell shield? The dark beckons. This too shall end. Oh yeah, no, that's that's the that's the like Targon invoke card that gives it spell shield. We just had dragons, dragons protection from the scales of the dragon. We just gave it that plus zero, plus three.
All right, so we're gonna have to play a lot of units out. But none of these have fearsome, man. Why? None of these can block fearsome. Like, why is fearsome a thing? All right, twin disciplines. I guess we make vengeance cost nine. This divine, di I hate this blade dance one, you know, and just give them a slay with the Nasus. I hate that. Oh, I hate that. All right, let's see. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. So the Glimpse Beyond's their lowest cost card. Oh, the Viego's Despair was? Wow, we had them discard a Viego. It shows Viego's Despair. Oh man, this would have been great to keep with the Mirror Mage to have them discard their lowest cost card. So, so we did have them discard a Viego, that's nice. Hey Yixt, I'm doing good today. Today, how are you doing? We are trying to stay alive. Spending a lot of cards to do so. Okay, I didn't realize the Viego was so close to leveling up. That's kind of my bad. Now that things leveled up. Either way. They did have a ton of champions, right? Like, they had a lot of Diego Nasus at the beginning of the game. But yeah, our deck isn't feeling so good. It does seem like our deck is, you know, probably similar to that Zoe of Elios that we played earlier, but probably not as good. Viego got us. Viego a little too good. It got us. We could stay alive. This NASA should be the first card attacking so that it hits first and levels up and then gives my stuff minus one minus zero. We've done a good job of, I guess, just like staying alive. <laughs> but not really winning. Can stay alive a little bit. My turret. I like that turret. So now they have another champion and both champions are devastating. 
Like, both champion spells. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Okay. I... I guess I hope they have Nasus for the champion spell, I guess. Not Viego? Because if they have Viego, then they just play a new Viego. Well, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm doing what I can. I'm doing what I can. Okay. GG, Viego. GG. You know, meme tier decks, we don't always get all the wins. You know, like, we're trying out Mirror Mage, but yeah, Mirror Mage looks too slow. Even against, you know, like, a, Vie a slow Viego deck, it just looks like we have no chance to play Viego. Okay, let's send them all back like normal. I said play Viego, but I meant play Mirror Mage. Yeah, looks like we have, like, no chance to play Mirror Mage. This is a good quality hand. We have these conchologists, which are awesome. Let's take a group shot. Yeah. Let us take a peek at life group shot could kill a Teemo. Or a Sting Officer. To the world below. Hopefully no elixir of iron. Wow, they had Elixir of Iron, but still. At least we traded for, with Elixir of Iron for free. You know, got a free card there. Same amount of mana. On foot. Let's grab a ghost, get a surprise block in. Attack. So I should put him down to 13. I don't expect they're gonna block. So I wonder if Heimer Nami could work, create turrets as you buff them. I mean, yeah, I mean you're You're talking about like if you can have like your level your five mana champion in play and your level three champion or your three mana champion in play also that's leveled up. You know, like if, if that kind of stuff happens for you, sure, like you know, it could work, but Wouldn't expect it to go that well all the time. But that's what meme decks are for, right? Like, yeah, that's that's true. That we just want, you know, see if we can get something really cool to happen. Not necessarily built com for competitive wins on the ladder. News from the Undercity Shift, Detective Zane? It's all in the report, Sheriff. Should pay off nicely. Let us take a peek at life beneath the way. Okay, we can get a stun. Prepare for anything. Demo, that is not regulation equipment. Scoping the area. He's planning on stunning Caitlyn and Ghost. I don't know, one of these things. Persistence is key. So we'll get multiple flash bombs from the Sting Officer. Never see these coming. Put down the plus three, plus zero. Why don't I just do that? Yeah, why didn't I just do the plus three, plus zero? Oh dear. What seems to be the problem? Mushrooms could 
two one giga hexes. All right, we get a bunch of one cost units out. Whoa, spending four mana on Mystic Sean. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and tack in, because then if they block with Caitlyn, which is possible, we get the plus three plus zero to be able to kill the Caitlyn. Them having zero mana left. What's up, Martin? Yeah, Meme Day's been doing real good. Meme Day's always a lot of fun, but we've gotten some good, interesting decks today. Fortunately, I think this is probably the worst of our three decks. This kind of looks a little bit worse than, like, the Zoe Ophelios version that we were playing earlier, but, you know. Still enjoyable to play. traps Just when I needed assistance. All right, we got four power. Dang. Are we drawing way too many cards? Yeah, I think we could take a meme deck to master. Like that that invoke the shelf, the shelf folk deck. I think I could definitely take that deck to masters. Out of all these decks here, that's the one that I, I could take that to masters. No, my Heimer's gone. Where's my Heimer? I liked my Heimer. Cards are so good for this situation. Wow. I can deny one of them, but. That card's been really impressive. Both players draw two. So make some of their cards cost more. But yeah, the foundries are just gonna get us. It's the thing about like this this version compared to the Zoe version is that our curve's just higher, and it's just kind of too high for like this kind of matchup. We need more one cost cards. Gosh, these cards are just useless. <laughs> I wish I could discard that. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh man, that's really bad. Okay. This game's over. Let's go to the next game. That those hex cores. Fizz Nami again. Hopefully we can get, you know, hopefully we can get Mirror Mage in play one time. That would be nice. I know Mirror Mage isn't going to be great, but I ho hopefully we can just get it in play one time. It hasn't really felt like we're playing normal though today, right? Like everybody's playing just the top tier meta decks anyway in normal and in rate. Like they're the, they're just the same decks. Yeah, you know, that's all we've been facing is the exact same decks we play in ranked. Yeah, hopefully we'll have Mirror Mage pop off. Okay, so I assume we can kill Fizz, but not 100% sure we can kill Fizz. I guess 
this is the way to go anyway, because if they do have like a spell for fit, like they need a spell for fizz anyway. And there we go. Yeah, they're, we got rid of their warning shot, kill that thing. They were all sad. We pranked them. Okay, we'll take a win. Zoe Nami. Zoe Nami is so good. We played Zoe Nami uh, second day of the format and put up a good video with it. If you are interested in watching some Zoe Nami, definitely check that out from, you know, a few days ago. Whenever y'all are watching this on YouTube, probably about four days ago. But Zoe Nami looked really good. I, I actually prefer Zoe Nami to Fizz Nami myself. I guess inside of ages. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. That could definitely be a pale cascade, like they were waiting till this run. I didn't see if that was like the latest card they just played with Zoe. But they could be waiting. Right, they're going like true bilge water box to puss, huh? That's not something you see all the time. Gonna save the dragon's protection for the karma. This is not the way. Be brave. That that th three mana card traded with their two mana and one mana, and made made a dragon's protection. But of course, they also made a gem. Oh, that card's annoying. That card is annoying. What wondrous discoveries await below? Now this box place is a five six. Gross. Go, floating where are you off to? Easy does it. So we'll put the box twist back in their hand so that whenever they replay it, it turns back into a 3 1 instead of a 5 6. And then we get to rebuy this conchologist card. And create another spell again. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. Right now. Very good attack for four. So they're up on mana, but I'm pretty happy with what's going on with this game so far. What our hand look like looks like. So that fills their hand. So they can't pass. They have a full hand, full mana. They gotta play stuff. What spells did I play? I won't let my home be swallowed by darkness. I will find the moonstone. I will save my people. Yeah, we have always had a full hand today. This is going to be pretty silly.
Or at least we killed that thing. That's good. Wait, so they could have played that and saved their elusive, and they were just like, nah, that, I'm good. Don't worry about it. Weird. Yeah, Nami with gems is pretty broken. But, they're, but at least they're playing like this thing and not Sparklefly. Like, Sparklefly, we'd have, you know, like, it'd be so hard to beat Sparklefly, but that thing's just, you know, whatever. That thing's just something we can block every round. Ride the surging tide. I right. Woo you wee scruff. I research. Seriously? I don't want those things. By the strength of our convictions. So are these just all champions in here or something? Or we just have the worst luck ever? These are dark times. I want to create spells at the end of the round. Pretty surprised they're not healing the box close. Nexus doesn't matter. Okay. We at least give the box post ephemeral. Be kidding me. Got to be kidding me. Ride the surging tide. Let the tide carry. Good game, Nami. Good game. This deck, I think, is better than Nami Fizz. I think this is one of the very best decks in the format, this Nami Zoe. Unfortunately, I hadn't played against it. Unfortunately, I hadn't seen anybody else that had realized it yet. But yes, I think that this is this deck is incredible. Zoe gives you like that extra gas, and Targon gives you a lot of great stuff. I played it the second day of expansion and posted a video about it. Our allies did um, not fall in vain. When was that? So Thursday? Last last Thursday? This is this is the better Fizz um Fizz Nami deck. I don't really like the box I don't know, I didn't have box to or burble fish. I don't know, I didn't have all these these cards, but
No, yeah, I mean, I just can't ever play Mirror Mage, right? Yeah, I just can't play Mirror Mage. Now let me just bust up the other elusives. The game's very over. Looks like the metagame's too good for Mirror Mage, right? At 8 mana and doesn't have, like, any kind of play effect. So it has to be, like, 8 mana and then you uh, wait till the next round and then you kind of start copying stuff after that. And then it's, you know, like a 4-7. So for 8, as far as 8 mana cards go, very, very small body. Just doesn't seem like it works, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Mirror, Mirror Mage is a tough one to do. Maybe with the different region combinations and maybe, maybe with, like, you know, just a whole different package and everything like that. You know, we... I guess, like, Mirror and Karma together, right? Because they are, like, the same kind of card and we we're trying to, like, double up on that and, like, have, like, a cool Karma Mirror Mage stuff. But that was just obviously way, way too slow. So, you know, maybe if you're playing, you know, like... I don't know, Piltover and Zon with Victor for more created stuff. I don't know. Or, uh, you know, just Bilgewater with Nami or, you know, doing something else. But Mirror Mage looks pretty tough to uh, pull off in the current metagame. Anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments. If you got any ideas for Mirror Mage, leave them in the comment section. I'd love to hear about it. You know, like we tried uh, Mirror Mage with Karma here. Didn't quite work out. If you got Mirror Ma any other Mirror Mage ideas, what to do with this card, um, yeah, put them in the comment section. I would uh, yeah, I'd be really interested to, to, to know, you know, what can we do with Mirror Mage? All right, but that's going to be it for this video. So as always... Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.